at one point my girl class and me said, what am I going to talk about? Like, how did we get here? Like, pass you say chemistry if you hate it so today that's the plan that's the topic how to pass this use chemistry if you hate it now when i was doing CSA chemistry honestly it was not my favorite subject even to this day i'm still not like chemistry like that right and if you're in a situation yeah do CSA chemistry and it just the things just not connecting it just don't seem like it'll go anywhere. Just know say I know you one. It's not you one because like back in the day when we did the CSA chemistry, like let me be very honest. You see between grade ten and grade eleven, at some point in between that, we did just get lost. Especially when it came to the whole um moles business, like you may say the whole moles thing. And what I think is that in order to be like one of the factors them that basically determine if you're strong in a subject like chemistry is your math skills. You get what I mean? Your math skills. So if you're somebody you know, see so your math skills them is not like a top of top, you know, top top math skills, then more than likely you're gonna have a problem with chemistry. So anyway, when me in grade eleven, I remember literally I got a class and like if for example we have how much class per week we usually have when i remember but the point is that if if for the month maybe let's just say eight class keep for the month for chemistry and we got the eight class them we probably only understand two out of the eight class we understand something basically just for tell you say at one point we got class and you said what am i gonna talk about like how did we get here like and the reason I'm telling you what I think of the problem. You see, when teacher rush for finish syllabus and them rush because they want to say them go through everything. You get me say? Them want can say yes, they go through everything. But how much you really understand? How much did you learn? Because me I tell you this, me never learn how to calculate moles because of my um, chemistry classes then back then me I tell you that. The periodic table, me did also learn that on my own. But may I tell you, so when it comes to the more complex um, topics, you know, like the, I don't remember the name of the other one, but the point is that when it, when the maths is incorporated, yes, it does parts of chemistry, teachers need to be really careful of. Like, if you're a student and you know, say, let me tell you this right now, the reason why you probably have struggle is because of the maths, maths area. And I'm not telling you, like, me is not the best maths student, do you mean know and I strongly believe the practice makes perfect. I strongly believe that. And imagine the teacher introduce the topic, spend one class on that topic, just do bam, bam, bam. You don't learn it yet, you know, you don't practice it yet, you know, you don't master it yet, you know, you don't go nowhere. And remember the teacher work out some moles when he would, I mean, so what is happening? Like, we don't understand what going on. So, like, we just laugh, we just woof, woof, woof. Until. I don't know, it never as bad as physics because I don't know so my um physics back in the day never ready from day one. But chemistry, grace be to God. So we get a grade two in a chemistry because it was not easy. But um point I'm trying to make is that here are some tips if you are struggling with CSA chemistry. You have a chemistry exam that come up and you struggle, here are some tips that that. So alright, what really helped me back then is I'm gonna say this. Again, all right, I said this before enough time on the channel here, but I'm say it again. Do not expect the teacher to be responsible for your learning. Any how you put all that responsibility upon them, you're not learning nothing. I tell you that. You're not learning nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. Like, back then, hey, hey, we never want to get into physics business. We'll stick to chemistry. If I did sit down, in other man class, never that really learn much. As me saying, that sometimes I understand, sometimes me just clueless, me just lost, me just me mind gone on Mars. Let like, me know you talk about, especially the areas them that incorporate maths in a chemistry. You see those areas you have to be very careful with. But me just I say, do not expect the teacher to make you learn. That's the first thing, and me not analyze, especially since. 
coming to university, you realize that if you want to learn your business, you know I mean? so if you want to learn, it's your business. But there is no teacher responsible. Regardless, you have to sit that exam, whether or not the teacher, the teacher not needs or no. And in high school, we're somewhat comfortable because, like, imagine we have a little end of term um, testing, right? In a high school, and teacher will get the topics, and you know, you can pass the exam and stuff like that. But with CSEC, it's just a big syllabus. CSEC never tell us this, 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 and this. Accompany it. It's just a big syllabus for you to figure out, right? You know what I'm saying? But the point is, do not depend on the teacher to make a pass chemistry. If you're sitting and wait on the teacher to make a pass, you're not pass nothing. You're not learning nothing either. So, that's the first thing. Take your chemistry problem into your own hands. It is now your responsibility. You know what I mean? So it is now your responsibility. Take your chemistry problems then into your hands. Admit, say, you have a problem. Admit, say, listen, you know, so I don't learn nothing in the chemistry. I mean, I see exam I come over, I don't learn nothing. I can't calculate a move to save my life. I only know the first 10 elements of the periodic table. I don't understand this group, group business, this group, group 7, group 1, group 2. I don't understand no alkali methods. I don't understand. Like, admit, say, you don't understand. Admit, say, you don't know nothing. That's the first step. You don't know nothing. You just have to move on, yeah. So, you admit, say, you don't know nothing. What's next? My recommendation or my advice is to get a textbook. My high school did rent um textbook, right? Me tell you. Then they rent textbook. So me don't know if every every um high school rent textbook yes or no. But my high school rented textbooks. And me tell you say if me never did have that big textbook, one day we can find a picture. Me put one picture right here so for sure you what it look like. If me never did have that big textbook. I you know, pass chemistry because me is a person that is very visual. I like the sittings and you know, you cannot come to class and work out one more problem. I expect that me going to work it like no, especially because me is not a strong math student. Me don't strong for maths overall like that, right? So you can just come and work one and expect me to work all like other one. Them like that makes absolutely no sense. So you're really and truly if you go get that textbook there. Whether you buy the Collins fan size or you're gonna get the big the big textbook where you need a book because I tell you safe up to some of them teachers you feel. I tell you honest truth. Some teachers are good teachers and prepare you efficiently, them do everything for you to ensure you can pass. But this video is called if you hate it, if you're not learning. This is what this video is about. Right? If you're not learning, if you hate chemistry. And hate is a very strong word. So, get the textbook, read the textbook, go over the topics them, and go read the textbook, read the textbook, read the textbook. Um, follow the working note in the textbook. See the reasons why. Because, let me tell you, yes, back when we see the chemistry, people used to tell us that this is this and this is that. But why? The truth is that you're not going to really remember unless you know why not. Because somebody can tell us that this guy, well, we know I use that example, but somebody can tell us that this. 1 is equal to 10. Why is the 1 equal to 10? Why I gotta remember say 1 equal to 10? Why I gotta remember? What's the reason? In a high school, me never get much reasoning behind things. Me just know say this is this and da da da. But when I go have an exam, and you know say on the CSEC paper to exam, everything is linked. Imagine them ask you this question 1A. 1A say this. 1B. If you get 1A wrong, then 1B more than likely like wrong. Because the questions are connected. So imagine you making one bad decision and everything wrong. Think about it like that. But the point is that then sometimes teachers will tell you why. And me I tell you, my high school chemistry career was a big joke. Especially coming to university. Like, my chemistry in high school was a big joke. Like, we have to say it. Like, me have to say it. Like, compared to what them expect of you now and what you were learning then, there is a gap. Something in the education system, no. Not right, in my opinion. But anyways, um, what I mean, I say now, yes, get a textbook. The next thing you can do is find an extra class. Find an extra class. You realize, what I mean, I say, it looks like this. So if you're really bad at it to the point where you're saying, I mean, no, nothing, nothing, you have to start, you know, cough up some money. Like, 
if your school don't rent book you have to go buy a book um if it bad to that extent you need to go get some private tutoring some private class that's also money um but you need help seek the help and don't sit on a farm fool right or guess what the free method the cheap method check youtube check youtube nowadays everything they on youtube you can check youtube if there's a particular topic try to find it on youtube try to find it on youtube try to find the topic and see if somebody um explain the topic if somebody um or whatever you know what I'm saying? try youtube try to get some free 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 tutoring on youtube some people um let me see i'm not sure if them have like the specific topics them on youtube but guess what if i can find that that good if not you buy a textbook or go extra class or do both if you really and truly want to pass chemistry because next thing this similar fox is here he had chemistry already have a barrier i mean i tell you like he's a very strong word which i don't like to use in a but if you reach the point where you are saying that I hate that subject here, that already is a mental block and that can discourage you, demotivate you, and just make you feel like, make you feel like whatever. You get what I mean? Say? So put that on the back burner. Try to suppress your mind and say, hold on. We don't really like, we dislike this subject, you know, but we just need to pass and go about with business and go about with life. That's, just have that in mind. If you get what I mean? Say? Definitely look at your syllabus. So, you see, if you buy the textbook, and if you start got the extra class, use the syllabus. Use the syllabus and go through. Some people say that they look, they feel overwhelmed when they look at the syllabus. Calm down. <laughs> like, that is bad, but just calm down. Like take it one step at a time. Because if you sit down with that syllabus and say, "Yeah, go," you get what I say, and you expect to do everything now one day, that now go no way. I mean, tell us now go no way. Sit down, do a topic. Um. Go through and say, all right, do the do okay. I take time and you do what you do. You get me understand? That is, if you have time, if you wait last minute until the exam, you don't really have them the time before you go through no syllabus like that, right? Then, if you really wait until last minute to study for your safety exams, then my advice is to pick out the big topic, them the heavy topic, them the one them where you know say, CXC na miss. Cause there are certain topics that no matter what, them have to come, have to. Have to come on the paper too because on the paper when you can wing it and you guess and you, you use a good look and whatever you can pray and you, you get the answer them on the paper one you can get away somewhat paper two something after read on that paper there something after write on that paper remember that right so bear that in mind so for me now i definitely recommend doing past papers like me tell you say on the morning of my CSA chemistry exam what was i doing I was not reading no textbook. I was not skipping through nothing. What was I doing the morning of my um CSEC chemistry exam? Well, the paper one. The morning of my paper one CSEC exam. I was there watching past paper videos, getting absorbing all the answers like a sponge. That was what I was doing on the morning of my CSEC chemistry paper one exam. That was what I mean for morning or evening, but no matter. Take all morning. But the point is that that was what I was doing sit down and watch the videos and absorb the answers like a sponge absorb it but guess what not everything is going to repeat and there's a chance that you might get some question where you don't see before and that's fine but that is what studying is for basically you get me say that is what studying is for ensure that you do well on your labs you see if you know so, all right you don't know where you open a paper like that ensure so you have a good lab book ensure so your lab book proper you get what i say ensure you say because in a sense you know some people feel like so them not to do sb and they don't have to care about the the lab book but it plays a part in your overall grade it plays a role so don't just lift it up and say blah 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 don't lift it up like that ensure so you have good labs ensure so you get an overall good lab grade some people is that lab book save them in an exam when them forget the grade four is the lab book grade save them and get them a grade three or get them a grade two so don't just feel like you're not have to do no lab book you're not have to do your lab time properly and you're not have to do this and you're not have to do that because me not tell you no like, i'm really fed up with my chemistry lab team at one point like at one point me i said no man me not this lab here too long i'm tired if you do this now like <laughs> sometimes the lab business is very 
repetitive in you know? Sometimes I get tired of that. I'm not telling you that. Sometimes I get tired of that. I'm not God. I don't know if you say what I'm tired of that. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. However, just ensure so you submit some good labs and ensure so you do some past papers because that can really save you in the exam. Save your final grade, I should say. Next thing to on the exam, ensure so you have really good graph skills. Ensure so your graph skills them up. Make sure so you can plot the graph with the X and your Y. You know, if you draw the things them funny, you know, if you find a scale, do not left off your scale, do not left off your title, do not fail to label the Y and X axis, and don't forget to put a title on it either. You get me so if you don't know that was a challenge for me when my first start like plot graph like really really plot graphs like that especially um physics chemistry both of them like how do you know what points to use you get me so so that was a challenge for me when we just start but you see the more you practice the more the comments and stripping us you know so we can use this way go up on the graph me know we can go by two can go by four we can go by 0 0.002 like Things like that, the more you practice, the more you become better at it. So practice your graph skills and don't go to the exam before I'm full because you are going to go see your graph more than likely. More than likely. Ensure that you know you watch the YouTube videos them as I said before. Of the past papers, if you get a textbook intro, you just read, 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 read. If you know say and understand a topic, if you know say you don't know, after you come out for this video, go watch, go read a book or something about go read about it, go answer some questions on it. But practice, 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 practice. Go out extra class. Tell the teacher so you don't understand. Right? If the teacher is approachable, like do what you need to do in order to pass. My last tip, and this last tip is saying pray about it. Pray about it because put aside everything else. A prayer get me through and that is a chemistry exam. Prayer get me through. So if you do everything, interest your prayer about it. Interest you ask God to guide you give you the correct answers on that exam ask him to tell you what to study as well because there's no feeling as good as when you study for your exam and it's exactly where you study just come up on the paper like that that is it anyways um pray about it um take these tips uh and do any if you do and all that stuff but um i think that's the end of how to pass chemistry if you hate it like this is the end of the video um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i think that's it if you have any other tips go ahead and comment them down below though all right so anyway that's the end and bye guys